Hi friends, do you wonder where you should be hosting your website on? There are so many options available, a shared server, a VPS, a dedicated server and cloud hosting. Recently I was speaking with one of my customers and he brought me to this question so I thought of making this video today. Hi, myself Rushik Shah and I am the author of an upcoming book, The Thing in the Marketing. Today I am going to share with you where you should be hosting your website on what type of server and what type of websites are usually hosted on what type of servers. So let's start with dedicated servers. Dedicated servers are servers on, on which only your own site, only one of your site is hosted and you get to use the whole resources of the server. So generally a server has four different types of resources. One is the space, which is the hard drive, the RAM available, the processor, and the bandwidth allocated to the server. So these are the four major components whenever you want to select a web hosting. So in a dedicated box, you get it all. Everything that is available on the server, it's all yours. The second type of hosting is VPS. It's called Virtual Private Server. So basically the way in which it works is a dedicated box is you know, sliced into pieces usually from somewhere from four pieces to 16 pieces depending upon the hardware configuration and so uh, and that one piece is allotted to your site so you get to use let's say there are four pieces in a dedicated server and if you're looking at one of the slice then you get to use one fourth of what the dedicated server offers that then comes shared hosting in shared hosting what the web hosting company does is they host anywhere between 50 to 200 websites on a dedicated server. So you get to use one, one, one fiftieth part or one of the 200th part of the server on a shared hosting. The fourth type of hosting is called cloud hosting. Cloud hosting is a network of servers connected to each other where you can on the fly use a RAM of one machine hard disk of another machine, processor of another machine, which are, which you can scale up as and when you require. Now the big question is, when you should be using what type of hosting? So generally when you are beginning, when you are a startup or when you are starting up a new website, usually you don't have so many visitors at within the first month or within first year. Usually 90% of the people host their websites on a shared server. Now, there are various other factors which you need to consider before selecting the hosting. There are two other major components. One is whether the hosting company provides enough support, especially 24 hours or not, and which is the control panel they offer. The most widely used control panel is called cPanel, which today more than 70% of the servers in the world use it. It gives you like kind of a do-it-yourself tool where you can you know create your own email IDs after logging into it you can change the passwords of the email ID so it gives you the flexibility to manage things yourself so let's say you're in the mid of a day or at midnight you have some issue in your email and you wanted to get support then the second critical thing is the support it has to be a managed support where you can call the hosting company or send them an email and hey, ask them, hey, I need a support, I have a problem, or I need to change a password, or whatever it is. So, hosting is, you know, incomplete when you don't have a proper managed support with it. There are so many hosting companies in the world, they either do both, or they do just, just provide you the server. So, select a company which provides you both, so that you don't have to worry about the host, the admin part of it, until at last you yourself are an admin. Now, when your site, when, when you should be selecting a dedicated server, so those are, there are some applications which are business critical. Sometimes, you know, you, you might be running a CRM or you might be running um, the billing software or anything which is very critical and where you cannot afford a downtime, that's where you should be selecting a dedicated server. Because of the dedicated server, because of someone else, your site may not get down. Whereas on a shared server, if some of the sites out of those 50 or 200 sites are taking up load, may bring, bring down the server and eventually will be bringing down your own website. Now, the other question is when you should be using a VPS. Now, VPS is the one fourth part of a dedicated server. So sometimes when you build up a custom application, which is business critical and you want to upload it, 
but you think it may not require all the resources that are dedicated server offers you can get it on the VPS now VPS are generally priced anywhere between $50 to $200 whereas a dedicated server as I told earlier is priced between $100 to $500 so that using a VPS would, would bring your cost down and if you're okay and with the resources that the VPS offers now Cloud servers are taking over. Now, what are the benefits of having a cloud server? So now let's say you are hosting, a, a, for example, a site which is showing up results of the university or a school. So now what happens when, when the results are announced? Everyone who was sitting in the exam would go on that particular time. Let's say it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, the results are going to, to be uh, scheduled to be announced everyone will go on that site at 11 o'clock what would happen let's say there are thousand students when all of a sudden goes to the site maybe the site may crash that's where cloud gets useful so whenever there is any kind of a spike load all of a sudden they manage it very well such that it makes sure that they use the processor of another server in the same network connected with the same cloud so that your site would be working without any downtime Hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to like and share the video. And if you have any specific questions on the type of website that you're having and you have questions on which hosting you should be going for, please feel free to comment below and I would be happy to answer your questions. This is Rushiksha signing off. See you in the next video.